Howdy doody, boys and girls. This is Let's Play Bonk's Adventure for the normal Nintendo. And this here happens to be the most valuable game in my library. So I thought I might show it to you today. It's a good little game. For those of you who may not have heard of it, there's a... It was a series that was on the TurboGrafx-16 initially. So if you were to play it, you would get a more robust experience on the TurboGrafx-16, but I don't happen to have one, so... I happen to get it for the NES. Now, when I was younger, me and my family used to go to the States uh, once a year. And, well, I only went twice. But <clears throat> the two times I went, we went to a Toys R Us, which I don't believe we had here in Canada at the time. And I got a game each time I was down there. And one of the games was, in fact, Bonk's Adventure. And it seems to be worthwhile. Because this game's ranging at around... Clocks in at around 300 bucks. Every so often I think about games like this where... Like, should I just sell it? Because it is quite valuable, but then I think... What would I even spend the money on? Like, if I had 300 bucks, like, I would just... Like, I could care less if I have $300 in the bank, but if I had a $300 game, that's more valuable to me. It's the sentimental value of it. I don't think I could ever part with it, but... In any event, as you can see, Bonk can climb walls and attack people with his very large head. If you happen to be climbing a wall and hit an enemy with your head on the way up, it does do damage to them. Same as when you do your uh, flying headbutt. You can also do a standing headbutt. It's the weakest of all of Bonk's attacks. I don't generally use it. But you can use it in a pinch. You're better off using a straight up uh, flying headbutt. You can probably headbutt these guys from below. I've never actually tried it. No, I can't. Also, as you may have noticed, the meat makes Bonk's head explode. And if you get a big piece of meat, it makes him invincible for a brief period. But when he has just the odd bit of meat, he can do a head bonk on the ground and it rocks all the enemies on screen. But only for a limited time. But if you get other pieces of meat in the meantime, it makes it stronger. Now if you pick up these things, you get to do these bonus mini games. And I'm not very good at this one. So I'm gonna have to... Yeah, like I... There's one where you have to try to do as many head flips in the air as you can. That's the one I'm much better at. And if you do it correctly, you get a free man. I believe the one with the carrots, if you get to the end, you get a free man as well. But truth be told, this game isn't terribly difficult, at least I don't find. Like, when I brought this home after having it in the States, I beat it the same night I got it. But I did play it a fair bit regardless, because it is a fun little game. It's just not particularly long, and it's not particularly hard. That's what she said. But it is good. That's what he said. Screw off, bird. Got some nice juicy meat. You don't want to mess with me when I'm... Uh, all hopped up on protein. Yes, the carrots heal bonk, but the uh, meat gives him the supercharge. I guess carrots keep him alive, but he just prefers meat. I want down there. I just go like this. Those happy faces are kind of useful. I'm not gonna bother picking it up right now, though. Oh yes, here's the one I'm talking about. Let's see how many flips I can get. This is me just mashing straight up. No turbo controller right now. And you don't want to land on your head at the bottom or you lose this minigame. Ooh, 128. Very good. I want to time that drop. See if... Uh, also, 
Look at these two, uh, guys. Notice how one of them isn't sleeping or breathing or anything? Those ones are traps. In case you aren't wise to the lack of breathing, if you head bonk these ones, it does nothing. But I will show you that if you do this, they turn in those things and try to attack you. So just be wary of that. You can just skip them. Alright, and this is the last level of level 1. I don't know what the deal with this dinosaur is, and it's retracting scales. I didn't know that existed. Come on, guy. Wake up. There we go. Yeah, I always thought this was odd as a kid, because... Why would you want to walk into this monster's mouth? There's no reason why you would want to get eaten. But if you watch the TurboGrafx-16 version, they, uh... The dinosaur, when you bounce on its head, it just sticks its tongue out and eats you. Which makes a lot more sense to me. But it's a good thing that Bonk can't get digested. And just be sure to dodge all these parasites. <laughs> don't, uh... Don't be afraid to eat this pre-digested meat, though. Bonk does not discriminate with pre-digested meat. <laughs> those, those uvulas are very happy. Just smiling away. They're in paradise. Come on, swim for me, Bonk. Alright, and uh... Oh, look, it appears that he's blocked up. I'll be a good little bonk and unblock him. Well, not completely. And then you just escape through the, uh, the back door. That's a relief. Now, since we're just in the bowels of a dinosaur, let's travel to the bowels of the Earth to fight our first boss. Who isn't tremendously difficult. All you want to do against this guy? Hop on his stomach. And just headbutt him. You can get him from above, but you may as well just get him this way. It's way easier. There, that was that was the boss. <clears throat> ho hum! Where am I? What is going on? Oh well. Bye. Yes, and those happy faces I picked up at the end of each level will recover your heart, so as you see, ten of them was more than enough to restore my health all the way. Now we're on to 2-1. It's a good thing there's signs indicating what level you're on. Otherwise Bonk would never know what level he's at. Couldn't have been a name. Oh yes, the, the water, if you walk on it for too long, you just sink as you just watched. Just take a jump every so often, and just, you don't have anything to worry about. Definitely want the meat. Is that a trap? Doesn't look to be moving, no. No he is. Ooh, carrot. It's the prehistoric times, you still want food. Come here. And some more carrots. Bonk was a little hungry. And some more big meat. I love me some big meat. That's all. Alright. And this one you just climb before the time limit. Huzzah. And I got ten thingies. I'm not sure if I can get a one up there, that's a distinct possibility. Although I can't recall. Is that super head bonk certainly comes in handy. Don't ask me how that works when enemies are floating. 
I don't have all the answers. I don't really need that carrot. Well, I do now, but it's too late. I missed my window of opportunity. And I'll just have to live with my shame. Yeah, it looks like one of those non-breathy guys. Yeah, let's keep on going. You can't trick me. I have basic observational skills. Come on, all better. Jeez, I could have just got that one. But some of them are just meat. And I want to miss them if they're meat. I'm not sure if any of them can be one of those secret areas. I can't recall. Yeah, you can certainly use the head spinning to your advantage, but I don't use it as often as I ought to. Alright, now let's peel her. I kind of forget how you can jump better with them as well this way. Oh, here we go. Now let's see if I can't do this one. I just gotta do this better. Ah! Hopefully I can get to the end of that for you guys. That guy's wearing a helmet, so he's safe. In case I haven't mentioned it, those colored ones, they just... If you bounce on them, you jump up real high. Alright, two, three. Guess if you just tap to one direction, you can make your way around. I don't think I can just jump through. No. So you do have to swing on around. This will probably just be a carrot anyway. If I ever hit it, let's play dodge the... treasure plant. What would you even call that thing? Alright, this one, I'm just gonna cut at the bottom, so I'll meet you down there. 114. I think you just need over 100 to get a 1-up. I'm not 100% sure on that. I seem to be alright with staying above 100, so... Good for me. Is that a trap? It's looking like one. Let's not fall for the trap. I would have liked to have bitten the wall and just continued instead of getting struck. But hey. You gotta make the best of a bad situation sometimes. Yeah, bouncing on the clouds. Bouncy, bouncy. I wish clouds were like that in real life, but that might make air travel a lot more unsafe if you just bounced off clouds like that. But would you need air travel if you could just bounce to your destination? It might take a little while longer, but... There we go. More invincibility meat. Just chilling in the air. Oh, you definitely want this. Yes, you can get up to three hearts. Three extra hearts, I mean. So six hearts in total, which comes in handy. Oh, I may as well get that free bonk. I say the game's not too hard, but I would get a game over simply because I said that. And... the second boss. Down, 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 down. This next guy is actually kind of difficult. He'll probably kill me, but... Hmm. 
this first phase of them isn't really too bad. You just gotta... You gotta be patient. Because his, his invincibility window is a little bit longer than I would expect. Yeah, here we go. Because I don't think I can just jump up and hurt him. I have to jump over him. Because you can't just stay over him and bonk repeatedly. He's definitely gonna kill me. Why did that not work? Mang. You and your shurikens? Shurikens? Whatever they're called. Yeah, and whenever Bonk dies, you can just lay there for as long as you like until you're ready to get back into the fray and just hit start. Oh, I can just Bonk him from underneath. I don't think it's really beneficial to do so. Oh, it's because I get hit before then. There we go. Oh, shanks, buddy. You're a regular lifesaver. I don't think I've ever had a regular lifesaver. I've had cherry lifesavers, watermelon lifesavers. In any case, I believe I will stop the video here on round three. So next time on Bonk's Adventure, we will continue in the wild world of prehistoric Bonk. Thanks for joining me, guys.